for loving me. No, why do you love me, baby? God, I don't know if I can do this without you. I can't do this without you. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, he's alive! Chris! He's alive! He's breathing! He's Don't alive! Breathe. No, he is alive! I'll stay with you. Get Tilly! Get Tilly! She's right, he has a heartbeat. <laughs> The appendicitis was a standard laparoscopic removal. No rupture, abscess, or collection of pus. Great. Hey, um, I know that you were really close with TK, and I'm, I'm really sorry. We well, don't send flowers just yet. What? He's breathing without life support. Wait, TK's alive? Yeah. Wait, but for his condition, that's impossible. The brain damage, how extensive is it? He won't live long. It's just a matter of time before he lets go. Or not. True. I'm not getting the hopes up. What, is that hope? No. You need to understand that. So do you. Yeah, I'm just saying. I know TK Samuels, and he'll die when he's good and ready on his terms, his timing. Anyway, thanks a lot for taking over. Uh, Any time. Is he all right? Yeah, of course. Tilly. Yeah? You see those people over there? Dad's friends. Yeah, they love him but not like us. Hey? They are doctors first, even Esther, and they are about to walk in here and tell us something, and I don't want you to believe a word that they say. Hey, why don't you take a no, break? I want you to listen to. Okay, I need you both to dig deep, like real courage. That's what your dad would want. Cece. You were always telling me to have faith, Madonna. Right now, I just need your help, okay? Dig deep, here they come. We've completed our review. Uh, I'm sorry to say... Well, don't say it then. Just don't get your hopes up. It's a bit late for that. So what's happening? Your dad is in a coma. We don't think he's going to come out of it. He's breathing on his own. We think his brain didn't get enough oxygen. When he died, he was gone for too long. It was less than a minute. It was too long. So he's like Damo. Stuck in a coma for months? More likely a few days. Or even hours. And then he'll quietly pass away. You remember what I said? Don't believe a word. I think Till should probably go home. I can take you. You can have a shower and something to eat. I don't want to go anywhere. She wants to be with her dad. Cece's being irrational and it's confusing you, but... I thought so too, but having faith? It sounds crazy sometimes. Trust you to jump to science. I'm not crazy. You wouldn't want to go on like this. If you've got nothing positive to say, then why don't you just leave? I'm just trying to prepare both you and tell him. Oh, he's alive, isn't he? Yes, but we don't know what that looks like yet. How about you? You've written him off yet? I have to agree with Esther. Unfortunately, the chance that TK has lost brain function is very high. All right, well, we'll just have to wait for you to wake up, hey, honey? Prove them both wrong. We don't know that he's going to regain consciousness. We're not just going to give up. We wait. And I'm going to call Auntie Queenie and Gia. Yeah, and I'm going to tell them not to panic and everything is going to be okay. Come on, Tilly. Let me know if you need anything. No, I've got everything I need right here. He's alive. And before you know it, he's going to be back with me properly. My right, honey? I need to get Cece out of there. Uh, I know that she is his wife, but Tilly is his daughter. Cece didn't kick her out. You did. I don't want Tilly listening to that rubbish. Come here. Someone needs to check on Selena, and I vote you. What's happened? Haven't you seen the article? Not yet. I have to get back. Sure. 
Cece? Cece? I'm awake. Yeah. Okay, I'm sick. Just go home. Yeah? No. Get changed and no. come back. I'm not leaving her. How long has she been like this? Ages. I'm here now. My turn. And mine. So please take a break. I'll call you if there's any changes. We all will. Okay, so just please. Okay. Um, go far away from me. I'm not going home. Hey, TK. Just me again. Want some time on your own? No. Whatever you say, I won't listen. It's okay. You guys know it all. You're not still blaming yourself, are you? Trying not to, but... Marty. That's not really the problem. Then what? I wanted to bring Picky in to say goodbye. Mm. But Esther said no. Fair enough. I don't think so. Do you feel that strongly about it? Picky is really special to TK. Cool TK? Yeah. You did such a great job making up for Mo. Sorry, that's not mine. Making up for her? Picky's grandfather. Sorry, that's... Mo, Jack's dad. Of course. And Curtis's dad. Right. Yeah, I'm with you. He was the sweetest man. He was so kind and generous despite everything he went through. Sorry, TK, I'm, I'm on duty. I need to keep it together. What was his name again? Uh, Mo Teddy was his full name, um, but he went by Mo, Mo Hannah. Well. What? Uh, he just squeezed my hand. Brainstem reflexes? TK, can you hear me? Can you squeeze my hand again? He squeezed it again, that's not an accident. Okay, let's get the team.